So recently, I have been trying to figure out how to do a picture of kind of sunlight through the trees, very blurred background, and then more distinct trees in the foreground. And one of the things that I've thought of doing, and we'll see if this works, I'm going to use a little piece of Yupo. Um, I'm deliberately using Yupo to do this, because I want it to look like background. Um, and I want it to not pull all of the color off. So the first thing I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to end up just throwing a lot of color on this piece of paper. And I'm starting with sandal. I'm using lights deliberately. And I'm going to put some moss on it. <coughs> And I'm going to put some, oops, slate on it. And I am going to then put some stone washed around the very edges. So all of this color I'm hoping to mix together to kind of let it become um, uh, kind of a splotchy background, but we'll see how this works. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, sprinkle it. Now I want this background to kind of mingle all together. So while it's still very wet, I'm working on some mingling here. And I probably should have worked on getting my um, my paper cleaner. I did not wash my paper first. And this may end up being an issue because I can see that somehow I've got all of these little pieces here. So I may end up at a different time slightly different process here. Um, so what I'm trying to do is I'm making different points of light. And I'm going to pull out some of this. And I may need to... I'm liking a lot. I think I put too much in the way of... Uh, of, of alcohol inks on it, but I'm going to keep on going with this um, in an attempt to kind of make the design that I'm thinking that I want it to make. Um, you may want to see what happens if I take more of this, this here and come up a little more into the top. So as I said, the idea is that I am going to be able to make this look like, I think it's called bokeh. Um, it's this little idea that there is these little circles of light back there. And it's making very interesting. I'm going to keep on going with it. Let me see what it what it's going to end up doing. I keep on letting it dry, and then I go with another bunch of of splatters. So I want to walk in the forest is kind of where I'm going with this, with um, with leaves and trees and stuff happening. Um, the forest itself, I think, I want to, let me see what happens if I put a little bit of this down there and add a little bit more of, of this. 
see what happens if I give myself a little more texture. And I'm going to, and there's actually a path through here, so I'm gonna make that path through there. may have to actually reduce the make, make my background lighter still because what I'm trying to do is make little little circles that are going to give me the illusion of light back there. And I'm not sure if this is actually working perfectly for what I want. One of the things that I wanted to do was possibly go in with something like a Q-tip. Let's try the Q-tip and see what happens when I just make circles all through this. You know how the light kind of comes on the tree and so then when I pull this up does it not have the dark edges? I'm trying to not have the dark edges. I'm not sure if this is working, but I'm gonna keep on working with it. Really looking for more of out of focus background. Maybe some of these overlapping each other in the out of focus background for the very, okay. And also wanna make sure that it doesn't have necessarily the dark lines around it. Well, that's interesting. Let me see if this is going to work how I want it to work. I'm not quite sure. So what I want to do next is literally just pull out some, some trees. And I want these trees to be uh, here. And we're going to make them thicker here. And we'll make them thicker here. I'm going to put another one in here. I do have to remember that this 5x7, I need to come in a little bit on it. Um, I, I tend to work out too close to the edge. So then, if I bring another tree in here, there we go. Then I want to put another tree in here. It might be even thicker still. I do have a path of some sort happening here. So maybe I want another tree in there. And maybe I want another tree in here. Now this is just kind of the beginning. We'll see how this works. Um, I probably want to make sure that these these trees are much wider and I have to see what happens if I make this much wider. goes here and then I want to do some thinner trees in the very background so this tree is going to be thinner 
and that's going to be thinner. And this is going to be thinner. Here I go again, making that thinner. So is that working in the background? Not really how I wanted it to work, but I can keep on kind of working with this if I want. So now I'm gonna try more splatter. What I really want it to happen is the look of, um, like there's glimmering in the background. Like the light is just shining through in various spots and giving you a, the illusion of, of, of light. And I might even try to put some different color in some of these. Let me see if this is helping. Because then when I pull it off, I don't want the dark edges is what the shit, my issue is. I don't want the dark edges. Well, that's kind of interesting. There is a path of sorts in there. Let me come through with my path of sorts, making it much bigger. I love putting on and pulling off work. Okay, is there a path in there a little more? Like there's a, there's something happening in there. Okay, well, um, that's interesting so far. It's not quite what I want it, but maybe it'll work. I might want a little more in the way of, of snowy. See, I'm thinking snow, but I don't know where how that's going to affect me here. I want lighter there. When you get those pictures that are blurred in the background and they look like they're much okay and still want more light back there So the whole idea is to blur that background a bit. And then I want some, some almost snowy, kind of, I, I was thinking snow and I don't know how I ended up with this, not snow, but let's put a little bit of this in here still think snow, but I'm going to make some adaptations on my snowy front. I am, I am, I am. This is just exploration. So I can also work here at coming through here. We'll see how that works. Again, I've used the, uh, I've deliberately used the Yupo because I wanted some of the staining. I may have ended up with more staining than I really want, but let's try this again. Okay, I want this all the way down to here. I'm going to put this one all the way down to here because I want it to come in front of there. Let's get some more all the way down there. More all the way down there. Get my, my path through there. I'm going to put 
this guy just right to the path here, and this guy right to the path here. And this guy's going to come through more like this. And this, these two will come from this area. Exploration. A lot of times I don't come, I come up with an idea um, of what I'm thinking I want to occur. And then I really work on following the painting because the painting's going to make whatever the painting's going to become. And especially with alcohol inks, there is so many different ways that they just kind of do their own thing. Um, so, I'm, I'm, I'm having a lot of thought about like kind of over the river and through the snow to grandmother's house we go here. But so what I'm doing is I'm just kind of allowing some of this to occur in my, see, I'm, I'm, I'm liking the, the snowy look. I'm liking the, what's happening here and, and the more of the don't know what it is but I'm going to keep on with it because I'm liking it um, again I've got this look of there's snow there's stuff happening there's sun shining through and I actually may end up working a bit here of getting more in the way of sun showing through. Yupo is a little challenging at times because it does uh, it does stain but I deliberately used its staining product idea and that's what I'm doing with this is I'm letting it stain letting it kind of show through and I'm gonna try to get a little bit of a yellow down here without having it turn green which is always a challenge but I think I might be able to to do it. I've, you know, one of the things that's really interesting that you can do is you can use alcohol inks to clean alcohol inks. So here I'm using this alcohol ink of, of this is sandal, and I'm using it to clean up a little bit of my snow here because I want it to look as if this is really soft light coming through the forest. So I can keep on working with this. I used uh, stonewashed and one of the things that stonewash does is it has a bit of pink in there. So this also can help my, my, uh, Illusion. See, I just want a little tiny bit of an illusion of light, especially right down through the very middle. So I'm just going with this. Um, maybe softening my edges here. Softening my edges here. And allowing this to just become a little snow, but not quite snow. Okay, I'm liking that. Um, I could also end up, I almost want a pink, but I'm going to try this a little bigger here. And this is my path. 
and I'm going to put my trees right on the other side of the path right here. And I'm going to put a bit of a, of something happening with my path right there. So we're going to make my path much smaller up through there. Let's put a tree through it. Okay, well, what do you guys think? I'm kind of liking that at the moment. Um, again, I want to straighten up some of the, the trees here. Okay. And I want to bring them down there. So, there I go with that. It's very much into the woods, into the snow. So the next thing I need to do is I really want to make these trees much, um, oh, much more distinctive. I love my fantastics. Here's a fantastic. So. As I clean out some of this, the bottoms of my trees here. Now they are still going to be in shadow because they are literally, the sun's behind them. So the blue is going to work kind of for me. Even the blue. So, I, I'm working, as you can see, I work at taking out some of the, uh, some of the uh, color. And that's great. Okay. So I've got all of these trees and I've got the distance and I and I really want this still to be a little bit a little bit brighter just in this particular area. So as I just really clean this out with my fantastic, I'm gonna put a little bit more here. Okay, and then I'm going to, I can use the Fantastic to kind of just become again, this is just playing, playing with the warmth. Okay, so I'm liking that. Now I'm going to go work on my trees. And so I really like using a little bit of, uh, this is a Sharpie. So I am going to use the Sharpie to define my trees a little bit. And um, I try to get them different. I want to get them so that they are um, they have a lot of contrast in them. I tend to put the contrast on the one side away from the illusion of what I think is going to be the sunlight. So again here I'm just going to kind of sketch in a bit of this tree and I try it's so hard not to do this perfectly it is just difficult so I just keep on going kind of back and forth and I will probably go back and and uh and um adapt this a little bit more to uh soften a lot of this like this one this tree in the very background is probably going to be softened now this tree i'm going to probably end up there i go 
again lots of different shapes uh, um, the whole idea is we're seeing the trees through the forest okay see how now you can see the trees through the forest now at some point I'm going to flip flip sides so here I'm flipping sides a little bit on this one and um, going back and forth up and down up one side kind of just kind of giving it a little bit of of oomph again this one I'm going to do the same thing up and down up and down this really improves the whole look of the painting it gives the trees are in such high contrast now that they will start looking as if they are kind of more real okay so this one down here is very big and I may even just scrunch a little bit more and I'll be working a little bit more with this one to kind of give it some some more definition but working up the side of the one tree and and working around the whole thing there I go got that one and then this one right here is the one that's down the most and the good news about this is a sharpie and uh, Sharpies are basically alcohol ink. You could also do this with an alcohol ink marker um, if you want, but um, I also like a little bit on the other side, but not a lot. Um, you could do this with an alcohol ink marker if you want. You could do it uh, with a brush. I just find it's a lot easier to do it with this. Okay. So now suddenly my trees are beginning to look very, very uh, more realistic. Okay, I may want to put just a little bit on the other side, um, especially where you're seeing them in the woods. I may want to just do a little sketchy stuff right along the side. See, I like the the sketchiness. I, I like the actually giving myself a little bit of, of grounding here. This is snow, so there might be some grounding in the snow, and there might be stuff just showing through, okay? So we have a, a path here that probably is going behind and in front of those trees, so I really like that. Um, the next thing I want to do, though, is some softening. So I like it, but I don't like it super much. And what I want to do is I want to put some kind of a very light feeling uh, in those trees. So this is Mountain Rose. I don't know whether this is going to work, but I don't want it really high key but I do want just a little bit of uh, almost a light around one side of these trees. So there, I'm kind of liking that, and I think I'm going to alternate a bit between Mountain Rose and a little bit of a yellow here. I just want a little bit more color in the trees themselves. And I want them on the, kind of what I would consider the warm side, because I just don't like them being quite that stark white. So I've got a little bit of this, uh, this rose, and I might even want to uh, soften a few of the pieces here. And as I work up in my softening, I might want to take just a little bit of the yellow where it is particularly warm, right in the center area, and throw a little bit of the yellow in. Again, I have a little bit of the yellow here where it's particularly warm. And this one I may even do yellow all the way up. So what I'm doing is I'm just toning a little bit and softening a little bit this, um, this, and this is sandal. 
Most of this is done with the really light colors. So here, I've got a little bit of sandal, just, oh, that's too much. You <laughs> see, you can fix it. Um, that was too much. Just a little tiny bit of sandal dry in my brush and to give it just a little bit of uh, shape and interest and a color other than the blue. I mean, this is just, this is warming up. It's still a whitish color, but it's warming it up dramatically. And here I'm going again for this one. Again, I might take some of the, we're, we're, we're farther in the forest. I may take some of this, uh, um, the mountain rose again and, and work with the mountain rose a little bit in here. And I can keep on putting little tiny, tiny dots of the sandal in places to just warm up just a few little places. Okay, liking that, I still want these to be some more sandaly. Just more light. And I'm still thinking it's kind of snowing in places. So I'm not, I'm not absolutely perfectly ready to call this a, call it done. But I also want to start now making some very fine lines of either white or black. And most of these trees, I mean, like this tree here, looks like it probably has a few branches going up and maybe even down. And we could have a branch there and we could have a branch back there. Um, and this tree may have some branches going over here and let's put some branches up over here and let's end up with some more branches and i love i love to branch things out and let them kind of become more interesting here up toward the sky. Obviously, there's something coming out of here. And some of this might even get some white on it. I don't know. Um, this tree has some. I also like to just put a little bit of calligraphy in places. Um, this needs to be nicely darkened here. Want more of a darkness in, in this particular tree. So, and as I soften some of these places, some of the very, very, very fine ones, you know, I just get more and more interest in my painting. Um, and I may end up with more, just more. So um, <clears throat> I do like where, so now I have the, I, I know that there is light coming here, okay? So this painting or this piece right here probably has a really nice long shadow. And it may even have some branches coming. This one definitely will have a nice long shadow and it might even have a branch coming. And this one here ends up into almost two long shadows. And some of this ends up right in the nice and dark. <gasps> that's too much, but that's okay. I can fix that. See, I just kind of let it become 
okay and then this becomes and this can come down and this can come down so I'm liking my shadows here and I like the whole idea of a shadow and like some of this might just need a little more in the way of shadow let it come up toward the top it might be much lighter okay so I might need a little bit more of this in here okay so what do I have here I'm liking that um, there's another shadow coming here and then I really want to put some finer trees in here. So these are just kind of going through. They're not, they're not huge trees. They're just background trees. There might be some background trees here that have lots of little branches coming through. Um, and I like the idea that there's just more stuff happening in the background and maybe even more stuff. And, and uh, we'll see how that works. Just, okay. So now, wow, 36 minutes to do this. I'm not real fond of right here. I think I need to put, make this a little more straight across here somehow and make this more of a, of some kind of a, more something there, maybe even a little bit of a, what happens if I put just a few moss Christmas trees in there? So I want more, um, I want some different shapes. So I'm trying this moss and I'm trying to get as much alcohol out of it as I can. Okay, so now I want to kind of put a few Christmas tree shapes back there. Christmas tree shapes. I've got more stuff happening back there than, than I've given myself credit for. There might be some pine trees back there. Um, and I could even do some bluer pine trees. I just want a little more level of light back there. Okay, and then this. I want a little more something happening here where it just kind of comes around. So, let's see what happens here. Okay. I still want more, more something happening here. It's a path through the woods, and it's all the way through there. And this here needs more stuff happening. Okay, and I like the to bring this down into here. Okay, well, I'm liking that better. I'm liking the sense of light. I still need the feeling of snow. 
Okay, so now I've taken my painting and I've put a, a coat of Kamar varnish on it. And the reason I did that is because I want to add snow. I want to add, add the snow on top of it so that it looks as if there is, it is still kind of snowing a little bit light through on the other side, but there's still snow falling down from the trees. So I'm gonna put the snow cap in a, uh, in my palette. I'm gonna clean off and now I'm going to, I'm going to spritz this a bit with snow. I want it to be fairly fine. I don't want it to be super lots of it, but I want to have some of it. And I can also, if I want, end up with just a few little, so, you know, I can put little dots of snow here and there so that it looks as if you've got some, some, larger pieces coming down. I, I don't want to overdo this. I like the sense of light here. I could put just a tiny bit of snow or a tiny bit of white on the edge of the trees, but I want to make sure that it ends up being just white. I don't want it to, the whole reason why I, uh, I, coated it with Kamar was because I wanted, I did not want the, uh, I did not want the snow cap to suck up the underneath color. It still does ever so slightly. Uh, when I'm here, I'm working with it just a little bit here, just to bring out a few of my trees, but I'm just doing ever so slight. Not a lot, just a little, just to see if I can get some sense of life into a little more light in the painting, a little more snow happening. I think this one might take So I had to put the Kamar on there or it would not have, um, it would not have, it would have soaked up all of the color underneath. It's still soaking up a little bit of the color underneath, but it's much better than it w would be if I hadn't have already done a a load of the Kamar, 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 whatever it is. So I'm liking it. I'm going to put just a little more right here in the, in the lightest area. I even put a few white trees coming up a little more in the way of background trees. Why not? Okay. So I'm liking that. Let's give a little more to here. Maybe a little more light there. Okay. One more, I think I'll do one more layer of, see if I can get this a little bigger. Oh, I like the little bigger pieces of fallen snow. Sometimes you have to let it, there it goes. Just a little more, come on. I want drops, not, there I go. Well, I'm thinking that that's going to be enough. I want to thank you for watching, and we will 
We will continue at another day. Thanks. See, I get so carried away here trying to get the just the last few little pieces here working. Okay. Well, I like my painting. Thanks.